Fairfax County high school students are under investigation for child pornography. Under investigation for allegedly sharing pictures of fully naked female students on Snapchat. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox tells us as many as five Fairfax County high schools and secondary schools could be involved. We know the investigation began at Robinson Secondary School, where a witness told police that there was another student who had a Snapchat account where he was sharing pictures of fully naked underage girls. Now that suspect also asked for other pictures of naked girls from other high schools, Lake Braddock, uh, Woodson, West Springfield, and South County. We're not sure if any pictures came from those schools, but the police officer writes in this search warrant here that all four suspects had access to that account. And the officer says that all four of those students confessed to possessing and distributing those pictures. The officer states that he saw these pictures and concludes they are child pornography. Clinical psychologist Melissa Sporn is not surprised. I think this is happening much more than we're aware of. JAMA, the uh, Journal of American Medical Association, came out with a study very recently that said one in four students are receiving sexed images. Um, that's between the ages of 11 and 17. 13 percent are sending these images. I'm guessing that these suspects probably have no idea that possessing these pictures could be considered child pornography. No, absolutely. I, you know, I don't think kids, first of all, at that age and stage, developmentally understand what child pornography is, mm -hmm. but I also don't think that they assume that there's anything wrong with it. If, if somebody is sending this to me and they want me to have it. She says parents need to have conversations with their children about sexting as soon as they give them a cell phone. We need to start with being thoughtful about what we post. Sort of think before you post. How would I feel if this was shared with others? Um, could this be used to hurt me? Now, Fairfax County Police will not talk publicly about this investigation because it is ongoing and no charges have been filed yet. Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.